Previously on Higurashi When They Cry Console Arcs. Yarimasio Yamaoki san. Ore wa kitto anata no kitai ni kotae te misemasu. Sore ni. If we could get the power of the press in our hands, we'd even have the power to oppose heads of government. It might even be enough to get the ball rolling to avenge Minai san. When I thought about that, all the troubles and hardships I'd be facing from now on seemed completely painless. Nara kimari da na? Nanjiu nen saki ni naru ka wakaran ga, sono hi o tanoshimi ni shite oku. Ha ha, nanjiu nen mo kakemasen yo. Eh, jiu nen inai ni ore wa kitto mono ni shite misemasu. Sono toki ni wa iroiro to muri nandai o motte iku tsumori na no de. As I said that, I picked up the can of coffee in front of me, pulled the tab, and held it up to Yamoki-san with a fearless feeling in my heart. He smiled softly back at me, then picked up his nearly empty can and clanked it into mine. The hot coffee had already completely cooled off, but my entire body was filled with burning heat. <sighs> 警察学校を受験するとき、祖母が教えてくれたんです。私の父は、本当は私の名前を漢字の巴にしたかったんだって。原平火星に出てくる女豪傑の巴御前にあやかったそうです。One of the generals serving under Genji was Minamoto no Yoshinaka. I've heard that name before. And his wife was Tomoe Gozen. They say she even dressed in armor and wielded a longsword to fight her foes. So, he wanted his firstborn daughter to be a woman with a strong will and a courageous heart. And that was why her father had decided to name his daughter Tomoe. But, Your mom's lame. So, then, Gakko no Tomodachi ni mo, yomi ya sui na mai no ho ga kito, hen na adana mo tsuke rare na kute ii hazu da to. Da kara, hiragana ga ki ni na tan desu yo. The initial motivation for this was that case from three months ago. Because I want to investigate the case of Nagisa Ozaki san's death and find out more about the key witness. Raina Ryugu. I realized it was based on my own lingering regrets. But when I happened to contact Fujita kun a few days ago and heard the progress on the case, it was unbearable. The incident still held mysteries the police couldn't comprehend. And though I'd like to be involved, I'm stuck here doing busy work. This case is not over yet. And even now, there might still be something I can do. I want to do my best to respond to the feelings of the late Ozaki san. When I reached that decision, I assembled a plan that cleverly deviated from the public relations office's usual line of work. Honestly, I was prepared for Mino san to push back when I first submitted the proposal to him. Still, I put all my heart into it and planned to bet on that chance, even if the probability of success was only 1%. But, surprisingly enough, Mino san approved of the plan right from the get go. So, Minai san got something to do with me. I was in the cave. 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 要件は直接話したいとのことでしたので、内容はちょっとわからないのですが。ミナイさんが、私にえっと。I wasn't sure what to do, so I hesitated to reply. I was supposed to get on the bus right after this, and head to Hina Mizawa today. But ミナイさん is always so busy. So be, I'd be sorry to turn her down when she was willing to spare some time for me. It's a trap. And if I miss this opportunity, it might be a long ways out before I can meet her again. <sighs> Can't be h 
helped. I was actually planning to arrive at the main spot early to give myself time to calm down. But let's take a detour. Plus, me and I might be able to give me some good advice ahead of my meeting with Reina. And if I do end up running late, maybe they even drive me there in a police car. Just kidding. わかりました。でも、この後って今回for a moment, I thought to myself, I already know that, but I wasn't about to say that, because answering that way would be making light of Minosan's thoughtful advice. Mm hmm? Till a few months ago, I thought there was nobody as unlucky as me. But the truth is, I've had an incredible series of good luck. Minosan. Somosan. The Commissioner's Secretariat. The Director of NRIPS. And Hojo San. I was blessed with so many excellent and influential supporters. It was scary. My hand trembled as I held the ladle. Looking at the current situation, yes. It was like being passed a set of dice and rolling a six over and over. <sighs> On the other hand, I'm wondering what unexpected pitfalls are awaiting beyond this good fortune. That small anxiety floated to my mind, stabbing at my thoughts. But I have no time for he fear or hesitation. I need to move forward. I decide I'll keep going. Nagisa-san, まだまだクリアするものは多いけど、なんとか頑張れそうよ。待っててね。Detailed in there was a history of losing her parents in a fire, and her police career all the way from the academy up to the present day. And Rena gave me a strange feeling that something was out of place. No, that's not it. It wasn't that something was out of place. In fact, it was the opposite. Yes, it was deja vu. She lost her parents and everything she had in an absurd accident. And despite being pushed down to the depths of misery, she crawled her way up in order to succeed the will of the deceased. With the stubbornness of a weed. We're the same. Our circumstances were disgustingly similar. When I thought about that, the indescribable emotion I was feeling was exacerbated even further, against my wishes. I shook my head and tossed the report in the desk drawer. So be it. The victor and the outcome are obvious anyway, so it's fine to let you keep struggling. But know this, Missy. I commend you for the hardships you've overcome and the courage and valor you've displayed. But there's one thing you need to remember. I will never acknowledge you. Never! And so it continues. Greetings, my name's Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Higurashi and Necry console arcs. So, who's ready to finish connecting all these connecting fragments? Now, yeah, where we last left off, we were seeing uh, poor old Tomoe being unacknowledged by Takano jealous little thing. So now we have these two incident reports. So let's start with number one. Uh, 
I have a feeling that these are going to be short. Incident report. One. Female student in indiscriminate assault incident. This document contains confidential information and is not to be disclosed to the public. Occurrence. April blank, 1982. Two. Location. Ibaraki Prefecture. Blank City. Blank Junior High. 3. Overview A local resident submitted a report to Ibaraki Prefectural Police HQ's communications center, stating that they heard trans students screaming and the sound of something breaking on the premises of Blank Junior High. This must be in reference to Reina's freakout. As a result, Blank Station dispatched two officers from the Blank City to Blank Police Bo Local Police Box were the closest to the scene of the incident. When one of them arrived on the scene, they were guided by a student to a hallway on the first floor of the school building and discovered female student A who was being pinned down by three PE teachers near the doorway. Due to the presence of a bloody bat on the floor beside the subject, police officers concluded that a violent assault had occurred and decided to arrest the offender immediately. However, the school vice principal blank and the guidance counselor blank pr protested and insisted that student A be moved to the school infirmary for immediate treatment. Additionally, another police officer was guided by a female student named blank to the b back of a storehouse near the pool, where three male students were discovered writhing in agony with bloody wounds on their heads. The officer determined they had suffered dangerous levels of blood loss so they used their radio to call in an ambulance, and the students were transported to the nearby Blank Hospital. Why are they blanking out all these all these names? I okay, maybe I could kind of understand the the, the names of the students here, but all the different loca all the different locations too. Why keep everything so vague? After that, the two officers engaged in a discussion with the teachers in the health room where they argued about the negative impact on an arrest can have on a minor, so the officers abandoned plans to arrest the offender. <clears throat> okay, so you draw the line on this, but not but not the fact that a couple of minors were assaulted uh, assaulted and beaten bloody by a baseball bat. Okay, sure, why not? Student A was handed off to the Plank Station Youth Department's head investigator for, for ar arbitration. 4. Damage There were five victims in total. In addition to the three boys who were seriously injured, one female student and one PE teacher suffered mild, minor, by, 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 mild injuries. Minor, mild, same thing. 5. Questioning Student A refused to t make any statement while being questioned by both the youth department by, by the youth department investigator. In addition to questions about the incident, she even kept quiet on topics of mun mundane small talk. Furthermore, Student A's medical history revealed that she had been visiting a psychiatrist since a year ago. In response to that, Student A was transferred to the Blank General Hospital psy uh, psychiatry department. Based on the counseling physician's diagnosis of student, a of student A's in an imbalanced mental state, the youth division decided to take a wait-and-see approach rather than sending her for prosecution. This information was deemed sensitive by the request of the Ministry of Education and the National Police Agency's Public Relations Office has determined that it will not be released to the mass media. 6. Addendum the cause and motive for the incident is still unknown. The counseling physician suggested that it may be due to stress in family life and academics, but no confirmation was ever obtained. Also, it was found what Blank and the male students were talking about before the incident occurred. According to the testimony of female student Blank, they were discussing performances for the school's cultural festival in a few months. The planned performance was setting up a haunted house influenced by ghost stories from rural towns. Additionally, the most seriously injured of the three, Blank, 
was to be the leader of the performance, and student A's friend Blank was assisting. According to Blank, although student A was enthusiastic about creating the haunted house at first, she became apprehensive when she found out they'd be based on real stories, and she pleaded with Blank to reconsider. Questioning with Blank is still ongoing to determine the precise details of this discussion. Hmm, a haunted house, huh? I wonder if there will be any zombies in there. Or would, or there would have been at least, had this not happened. Incident report number two. Incident Report 2, Series of Mysterious Deaths in Ibaraki slash Aichi. Oh, well, hey, at least they're, they're not censoring the names and... Wait, wait, let me... Look. Maybe before I get ahead of myself, I should just let it go on for a bit first. Due to the ongoing investigation, some information is not to be disclosed to the public. Number 1, Occurrence. First incident, Saturday, October, October 2nd, 1982, around 4 p.m. Second incident, Sunday, October 24th, 1982, around 11 p.m. Third incident, Friday, October 29th, 1982, around 3 p.m. Two, location. First incident, Ibaraki Prefecture Blank Hospital Psychiatric Ward. Yeah, okay, they're blanking them again. Since the second incident, Aichi Prefecture, Umaki City, Double X National Highway. Third incident, Narita International Airport Lobby. Three, overview. First incident, a patient being treated at the Ibaraki Prefecture Blank General Hospital Psychiatric Ward, Kohei Suamura, 13, fell from the window of a hospital room and died immediately. Second incident, a resident of Oku Omaki City, Nagisa Uzaki, 13, was hit by a truck on a national highway and died immediately. Third incident, a passenger planning to board a plane board for, um, for, uh, Ma Macau? Masao? Masao, I'll go with Masao. I'm probably, spe I'm probably still butchering the pronunciation, though. A plane bound for Masao, Yoko uh, Huranuma, 37, suddenly began making strange noises before killing herself with a fruit knife. Oh, oh, okay, so all that's all that happened, huh? We're just going to leave out the fact that a group of police officers surrounded her and tried to arrest her before she started making strange noises and then um, offing herself with the fruit knife, huh? Nope, it just happened. Someone snapped their fingers. A hat got a hat dropped somewhere. Something, someone, someone's slice of pizza fell out, fell out be, between their fingers, and boom, she snaps. Four, going forward. At first glance, these three cases occurred in different locations and seem unrelated. There are no coincidences in this story. However, there were many unusual points in the situation, including the fact that the patient, his friend, who he was allegedly dating, and the nurse in charge of his hospitalization all died within a month. And furthermore, the autopsy of Yoko Hironuma's body revealed that a certain chemical substance mixed with alcohol was found in her throat and stomach. According to analysts at the National Research Institute of Police Science, even though it was impossible to determine the precise identity of the drug, some of the components in it did have psychological effects. A joint investigation team has been, has been formed, consisting of the National Police Agency, Aichi Prefectural Police HQ, and the National Research Institute of Police Science, and they are currently investigating any potential connection between these incidents.
So one, so one incident report was mainly about Reyna. And the other, and the other one was mainly about the last three arcs we were just, we just gone through. Especially the last one in particular. Wait, no, it's just only the last one. What am I, what am I, what am I talking about? One, two, three, four. Okay, we got a fragment of Toki Hogushi. At first glance, this fragment seems to have no connection to the world of Rika Furudi, and only seems to explore the thoughts of certain other girls. But, even though nobody realized it, it's essential for grasping a very important truth that otherwise couldn't be noticed. One year before the tragedy, in 1982. When Satoshi disappeared, and when the Rikas were fretting about how to escape the dead end approaching in the following year, a certain female detective came to visit Hina Mizawa. And the, and the being that earned her attention was one of the club members, Reina Ryugu. It was because of the assault case from back when she lived in Ibaraki. Most of the club members were unaware of that fact. Even Keiichi didn't know the exact cause. But, Reina used to be taking certain red pills. The drug was part of a plot that Rika and even Takuna were unaware of, and she fell victim to it. In order to unravel the truth, Detective Tomoe Minai overcame many difficulties and stood up. In response to that, the light of hope which had been faintly shining so far became so strong it could be seen clearly. And from then that, that light, something that even I didn't know existed, came into view. Quite the hook. A fragment of Miyo Tsukushi. I believe that's the arc we're going to be going to next after this one. After numerous detours, and after receiving the thoughts of so many people, I finally managed to obtain this fragment. However, this one's shape, color, and even weight are completely different from the others. Why, you ask? That's because this fragment doesn't include the fate of Rika Furude alone. Up until now, we've only been considering how to obtain Rika's happiness. To that end, we've been working together trying to surmount that wall. However, that feeling was always repelled by Takano's strong conviction and her willingness to put in the necessary effort. Then, is it simply impossible to defeat Takuno through all, though, though our only our collect through our only collective pot, thoughts and power? In which case, do we need stronger pieces? And furthermore, are we wishing for a miracle that defies common sense? No, that's wrong. What we really needed was a shift in perspective. It's true that Takano stands before us with great power and strong will, but just what is the source of that power? And what is driving that strong will? By searching for the answers to those questions and pursuing the lifeline extending behind her, it was possible to find another patron we hadn't noticed before. Then, is that who we need to defeat? No. Our arms are far too short to reach. And against a foe, and against a foe even more powerful than Takuno, there's no guarantee we can win. 
In which case, there's only one way. That lifeline just needs to be severed. And the means to do that was in a surprising place. And what is that place? Reversing the gears. I thought these things would I thought these things would go on longer than this. There's only two left, and I'm not even twenty minutes in yet. Oh. Hehe. <laughs> I found something interesting. I've i I've never seen anything in the world like this. This looks like a fragment, but it's actually not a fragment. It looks very similar with the exact same shape and color, but it's completely different. Suffice to say, let's call it a piece of concrete for now. If left alone, it would be nothing more than a mere stone. But this concrete has a slightly different characteristic from a fragment. Oh uh, yeah, you alluded to this particular fragment earlier, didn't you? Up until now, the fragments you've collected have been the crystallization of the will of the many people surrounding the fate of Rika Ferudi. However, this has nothing to do with the future of Rika Ferudi, let alone the past, so it's a meaningless and worthless thing in the world of fragments. So why are we, uh, so why are we even focusing on it? But, what's that? How mysterious, hehe. <laughs> By touching this concrete, the fragments scattered here and there begin to change shape. Angular corners become rounded. Distorted shapes become normal. Curves become straight lines. And stagnant colors become vivid. Though I couldn't see anything before because it was cloudy, it became transparent and the content was now clearly visible. Did you notice? From the start, even if all the fragments were put together, they couldn't combine perfectly. There were gaps in the middle. Because the chipped pieces of those fragments that could have filled the gaps were scattered and couldn't be found. If you could find them, yes, it might even open the path to a new future. And that's what this concrete piece is? Is a collection of those get, of those missing gaps? If you can get there, or you've already experienced it, I'd be thrilled if you could tell me what sort of world it was. Ah, that's right. We were talking about the concrete. By touching this concrete, the fragments change shape, color, and even material, and become one large mass. If I had to put it into words, I wonder if it should be called a dream. In other words, this mass contains the desires in the hearts of all the people living within it. Their feelings, their longings. For the ones who carefully played for their own happiness and to protect the ones they hold dear, it's the crystallization of the future everyone hoped for. It wasn't all as expected. There was a lot of self-condemnation, remorse, and regret about wanting to start over if possible. The people who were left behind remembered. They couldn't forget. That's why this concrete will express its original role here and now. And that's to take charge of the concrete intent behind someone's thoughts. That is to unify the concrete will in someone's desires. That is, to be guided by the concrete final wishes and trusted by someone else. Here, it is no longer June of 1983. Years later, in the Heisei era, in a sort of world of possibilities, 
where children grew to adults, and adults faded into their elder years. The recently appointed chief of news correspondence, Chief Inspector Junji Sakaguchi, let out a high pitched squeal and got up with enough momentum to knock his chair back as he turned toward the executive seating area. Watching that situation unfold, the public relations director, Senior Superintendent Tomoe Minai, quietly smiled to herself. She was convinced he would challenge this decision. Because ever since his old days as a detective, he was known for his anachronistic hot blooded attitude toward carrying out his duties with integrity. But, thanks to that, he had a stained, strained relationship with his boss, who tried to keep things easy going, and he reached a point where he was practically being driven out of his position. Sakaguchi Kakarichou, Nanika Iron Demo? シンザン者の私が状況を理解せず口に出すのは僭越と承知の上ですが私は納得できませんどうして報道各社への捜査情報の公開をこの岩谷容疑者の殺害事実のみに限定するんですか被害者の素性や彼女の薬物使用の痕
this loss of a celebrity. But the public relations office wasn't requested to handle press decisions simply because the suspect was a celebrity. The larger problem was that the victim was in contact with several women other than Iwatani and was accused of distribution of illegal drugs. Ah, so he was a drug dealer, huh? In fact, the Metropolitan Police Department's fifth group had launched an investigation to uncover these illicit backdoor trade routes, and had been following him for the past few months, looking for an opportunity to arrest him. But in the meantime, he had an affair with Iwatani, and when the two of them broke up, it resulted in an argument that led to a spur-of-the-moment murder. He was killed in circumstances resembling a romance drama. However, there was also evidence that she was using drugs, and they already knew that the murdered man was the source of the drugs. In which case, it's natural to worry that tightening suspicion around Iratani would cu cut off police access to those drug routes. Evidence suggests that several other illicit dealers have come in contact with her, and the fifth group is still pursuing those leads. Tashkani, ええ。失情のおっしゃることも理解しております。ですが、それでは殺害された男が何ら過失も落ちでもない。ただの哀れな被害者ということになってしまう。この男は薬の売買によって多くの人間をもてあそび、途端の苦しみを味わわせていたの
。事故の投影。大将行為というやつでしょ知名度の高い有名人。能力や容姿に優れた芸能人と同じものを購入して入手する。それによって、購買者はいわゆるイメージングというか、彼らと同じ能力や容姿を手に入れた気分になることができる。そういうことでしょう。Well, that's definitely not what I was getting at, for sure, but I can also understand the logic of that, of that too. So, no, Tori, yo. That tara, on a zio ni kanga te mite. Are da ke yu mei jin no iwata ni ga, kin si yakubutsu o fukyo ste ita to maskomi ni kokai sare tara. Are da ke gay no jin to ste no status mo takai kanojo ga, so no jo ho o shitta fan. Aru iwa, 関心を寄せるものは当然。それが何かを知りたくなるでしょう。そして入手先がどこか、その効能はどんなものか、といった風に、興味を持ち始める。それによって、大衆への薬物の汚染度は、さらに拡大するわね。But how, but how many people of, of the general public、uh, would, would actually be、uh, spurred on to do, to do something like this, though? I could, understand, I could understand people wanting to look into a particular drug and understand what it is, how it, how it functions, and all that, but going, but going further than that, and at the scale that you seem to be implying that, that this sort of thing could happen if word got out, got out I'm, not sure I, I'm not sure I completely buy what you're saying here, tell me. <laughs> 岩谷に弓を宣伝的に犯人へと仕立て上げたのよもちろんその代価は本人にちゃんと支払っているはず数年前の在宅か何かで彼女の実家はものすごい借金を背負っているらしいからねそれに最近プライベート関係で心身ともに疲れきっていた岩谷は芸能界を引退することをずっと考えていた。だったら、あとは一稼ぎして、しばらく刑務所で辛抱し、出所後は海外で陰性生活。理想的なセカンドライフよね。見ない出場。あなたは、そこまで。As Sakaguchi stared at her, Tomei lightly shrugged her shoulders to vaguely answer in the affirmative. She really has come a long way from being the, from being the ideal, idealistic detective, hasn't she? The public relations office isn't just a mediator for the press. They accurately investigate the precise source of information and analyze the details to grasp the situation and give instructions to various people in the field. They're sort of the information department of the National Police Agency. However, These activities were only disclosed to a select few executives like Tomoe. And so, Sakiguchi and the other young employees had their eyes open wide in shock at the idea. Tomoe considered the ramifications of indirectly revealing top secret information, but on the other hand, she also saw this as a good opportunity. The staff working here since Tomoe became the director. Were some of the most well known and well trained elites in various fields. Even the newcomer Sakaguchi was highly recommended by the former director for his beliefs and capabilities. Thus, she wanted to instill a certain level of awareness here that future activities would cover a wide variety of complexities. Sakaguchi, you are the one who is 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 the one. But I'm gonna have to ask you to compromise anyway. For the good of the wider public, you see. But, you know, the people who are in the police are not the same as the people who are in the police. They are not the same as the people who are in the police. They are not the same as the people who are in the police. They are not the same as the people who are in the police. そのためには、一見上んなやり方も必要になってくる。そうでしょ
ここにいるみんなも覚えておいて広報室の役目は犯人検挙の手助けをするだけじゃないの犯罪の二次拡大を防止することもその重要な役割なのあくどいことを考えている奴らは犯罪行為のその先まで読んで動いているだったらこちらもさらにその先を行くしかない広報の動き方一つで警察からの発信情報が有効にも無意味にもなるその重要性をしっかりおのおの意識しておくようにね<笑>確かにその通りです考えが足りませんでしたですがそれだからといって元締めの連中の悪事をみすみす見逃さなくてはいけないのは悔しいです、oh, believe me. She knows that feeling all too well. 誰が見逃すと言った<笑> The sound of her voice was as sharp and cold as a blade of ice. So all the staff members, not just Sakaguchi, looked up at once and trembled as a chill ran down their backs. This wasn't a gentle matron, matron, matronly tone of a senior female worker in her 50s. She'd be better described as a heroic woman as she looked at all the staff members standing in a row before her head on and smiled. ここの報道内容を知ればこちら側が配慮してくれたものと早がてんして気を緩めるでしょうそして次の売人を用意し新しい取引ルートを構築するでもそれが彼らにとっての終末点にすでに組みたい五はその包囲網を敷くことで準備ついでにまとり厚生省の麻薬取締部にも施工役として動いてもらえるようそれとなく情報を横流ししてあるもっともここまでの企みは警察庁の上層部も想定していないでしょうけどね Negotiating with politicians, bureaucrats, and other big shots was probably part of upper management's self interest and schemes. However, that wasn't anything Tomoe's organization cared about. Even if it means earning the ire of powerful people, the police had a firm role to act with unflinching standards. By fairly and thoroughly pursuing criminals, they can deter wrongdoers. From committing acts of evil. Crime and wrongdoing will never go away as long as society has culture and people have desire in their hearts. However, as long as the primary deterrence doesn't wane in significance, society should gradually move in the right direction. That was Tomoe's philosophy, which remained unwavering since she was appointed to this position. <laughs> Sakaguchi. 広報室を舐めるなよ。適当に殴り合って終わり、なんて甘っちょろい考えは。私たちには必要ないの。やるなら徹底的に叩き潰すことを考えろ。それが、刑事畑で不条理を嫌というほど見て、新さんを舐めてきたあなたを、ここに呼んだ理由なんだからな。はい。Tomoe's awe inspiring words like a bolt of lightning through Sakaguchi's body, causing him to immediately don a salute without even thinking. In that moment, the idea he was being demoted to the public relations office immediately vanished from his mind. Instead, a sense of purpose welled up inside his heart, along with the detective's soul he had all but forgotten.
えそうです。Oh, there's more. 最初は前野さんのおっしゃったように明らかに見下した感全開でした。挫折したエリートさん特有の反応ってやつですかね。でもまあ、最初にガツンと言ってやりましたので、次からは心配ないでしょう。<笑>なんだかんだ言ってやつはまた若いからな。だけど根は真面目で勘もいいし、俺の身内からも将来性は確かにあるってお墨付きだ。鍛えれば結構物になると思うぞ。<笑>私も、それは感じました。配属初日の会議で、あれだけ自分の意見を言えるなんて、なかなかの度胸ですよ。しばらく目をかけて、じっくり育てるつもりです。もっとも本人は、刑事に戻りたい気持ちが強いみたいですけどね。はあ、なんか広報室に来たばかりのお前さんを思い出すな。どうだ今もまだ刑事に戻る気はあるか。<笑>もう、からかわないでくださいよ。私、もうすぐおばあさんって呼ばれる年齢なんですから。若い時みたいに走り回ったり、徹夜続けたりしたら、そのままお迎えが来ちゃいますよ。If you're old enough, if you really are, if you really are as old as, as, as you apparently are now, I can't help but wonder if Yamoki is, is、um, walking around with a walking cane yet. I see a perfect, and if that's the case, I see a prime opportunity to,、uh, to get some good old sweet fashion revenge on your old boss, Tomoe. No, I'm not encouraging elder abuse. Not at all. <laughs> a boisterous laugh from her boss, Mino, came in over the cell phone. Sheesh. He's only a few steps below the top of the National Police Agency, but he's still as frank and open minded as ever. Tomei muttered that to herself, then moved the phone away from her face to laugh. So, yeah. Konban, o my hima ka. Wait, he's on the phone with you? Thought. In that case, maybe you should apply, apply a telephone filter to、uh, the voice line so that way I don't end up thinking right away that he's in the same room as you. I don't know if you're going to be in the same room as you. I don't know if you're going to be in the You're married? Who's the, who's the, who's the lucky, 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 who's もちろん、ケンジもごめんですから。あの子の将来は、あの子自身のやりたいようにさせるんです。主人にも、しっかりはっきり、そう言っておいてください。<笑>しかし、反町も自分の上司の特捜部長から直々にお願いされたとなったらな。毎日断りでもしたら、次の勤務先は網走か石垣島か<笑>そんなところに検察庁はありませんああもう分かりましたよ私もちゃんと同席させていただきますそれでいいですねオーケーオーケーそれでいいそんじゃなマイノサウンドサスファイズイハンアップフォン t o m e let out a sigh Then flipped her phone closed and slid it into her pocket. Taku. Go in nanda kara. You each kun ga keji ni natta kara te. Azusa o ima kara aotagari shinakte mo ii janai no. t 
Tomei's daughter, Azusa, was still in high school in the first place. She re- she reproduced! So she was in that critical time period leading up to college entrance exams. And yet, he'd agitate her by making her choose between the bar exam and the national seed test? Well, when the chief prosecutor's right-hand man allowed his son to become a police officer, a detective even, Apparently, the father ended up receiving a lot of blame for his bosses. From his bosses, excuse me. It's not good, that's it. That's why I'm so beautiful and beautiful. Tomei stepped through the entrance of the National Police Agency building as she muttered that to herself and stepped out into the brightly shining, uh, shining sunlight. Her destination was the building next door the seventh room of the Metropolitan Police Department's Public Security Bureau. This is where Tomoe Minai's, or rather, or now officially, Tom Tomoe Sorimachi's successor was employed. Ah, Minai-san! Ah, Janai. Oka-san. What? The young detective was binding together materials, but when she noticed Minai enter the room, she stood up and donned a salute. Tomei laughed at that overly formal and serious reaction while raising her right hand in response. <laughs> Wait. Did you get together with Akasaka? And now, and now, she's your adopted daughter? What? これまで通りでいいのよ。あ、はははは。でも、そういうことはきちんとしなさいってお父さんがお母さんとか、せめてともえさんとか呼ばないと変だって。赤坂さんらしいわね。<笑> As she said that, Tomei gave the detective, Miyuki Soramachi, a soft pat on the head. Miyuki looked up with her face slightly uneasy and dyed red, then gave her a sweet smile. Oh, so this takes place after that particular arc, huh? A lot of bullshit, that's what. Then, for a while longer, Miyuki gave Tomei a detailed explanation of the events in Hinamazawa. Tomei was very interested in the many mysterious and extreme events that transpired over just two days. And by the time she finished, nearly an hour had passed. Ah, sumimasen, minasan. Naka, dasen madashi ga nagabichaimashite. Mm-hmm. Omoshiro katta kara betsu ni ii wa. <laughs> Miyuki had a bright look on her face as she nodded over and over. For her, she best knew Tomei as a teacher from her police academy days, the one who sternly yet thoroughly taught her how to be a police officer. She was the person she most looked up to and respected aside from her parents. And when she first st started dating the man who became her husband, Yuichi Sor uh, Sor uh, Sorimachi, she was surprised and delighted to learn that marrying him would make Tomoe her mother-in-law. Although she had no blood relation to Yuichi herself, since she was his father's second wife. Since then, she debated if she should move on to the public relations office or the public security bureau after leaving the fourth group 
but Tomei was the one who told her to prioritize her father's wishes, so she trusted her judgment and went with public security. And on top of that, Tomei got along well with her mother, Yukie, so the Sora Amachi and Akasaka families had a bright, happy relationship as one big family. De? メールで入り口の外観写真を受け取ったけど、中の様子はどうだったの? Yuki's cheerful mood vanished as she said that, then she carefully spread the photo she had taken across the desk. Pictured there was an old hut, nestled amongst the densely overgrown vegetation. It was a shed, built inside the former grounds of the Sonozaki main house. Sonozaki ちょっと外からでは分からない仕組みになっていましたから、ここに逃げ込めば逃げ押せることができると、もっとも、中には猛毒ガスが充満していて、入ったとたん、数分で昏睡して死に至る。行き先は地獄か、それとも天国か。yeah, we experienced we experienced that fate firsthand in the in the in that one arc's bad ending. どちらにしても本来の出口までたどり着くことは不可能でしょうね。おそらく中には当時使用した毒ガスのボンベか何かが遺棄されているのだと思います。Well, one of its bad endings. Correction. それにしても皆さん。どうして毒ガスが火山性でないと気づかれたんですか一つは地形上の問題ね当初の発生源とされた鬼が淵沼からガスが噴き出したとしても標高の軽度から考えて避難先の分光に届くにはかなりの時間がかかるのそれこそ
Miyuki swallowed the saliva that had been clogging her throat. Back then, no research institution or public facility handled such dangerous chemicals. And if that's the case, then... それにしても危ないところでした。現地で知り合った人たちが脱出手段としてその隠し通路を使うつもりでいたんですけど、もし入ってたらとんでもないことになっていましたね。ごめんなさい。事前にもっと言っておけばよかったわね。でもあなたも
an unscrupulous politician who had used it for personal gain. And furthermore, a pitiful woman driven to commit violence while dancing to their tune. The more she looked into it, the more she lost herself to anger and hatred. And much like Tomoe was a respected mentor for Miyuki, Detective Ushi was an irreplaceable mentor for Tomoe, and he lost his life in the disaster. And even now, his body has never been found. The most probable explanation was that operatives at the time disposed of him. And in addition to him, there was the girl. Ryuku. Reina. She too was still missing. But a few years later, a hat that seemed to be a lost article of hers was found downstream on a river flowing through Hinamizawa with bloodstains on it. So she was probably no longer alive. In the end, everything came to an end without learning anything about Reina Ryugu's assault or Nagisa Uzaki's case. By the time Tomei finally learned the truth of the disaster, it was already too late for everything. <laughs> Being unable to share the truth with the people like Miyuki and his Akasaka who were investigating with such passion and conviction was truly painful. But even if she told them the truth now, it wouldn't bring them relief. It would only compound their sadness. So Tomoe kept everything locked inside her heart. That was what she decided. But there was a big part of her that thought that was a selfish way of thinking and not the right thing to do. Suddenly, Tomei opened her desk drawer and pulled out a photo. It was faded from years of degra degradation, but the smiles of two girls were still clearly visible there. As she said that, the face of, the, of a girl bowing with a bright smile on her face came to mind, and I began shedding tears. I failed them. I couldn't save them. I couldn't save anyone. And there was nothing I could do about it. Nothing! <laughs> Drops fell down on the desk over and over. God, please. I know this is an unreasonable request, but just this once, please hear my plea. Even if it means sending me to hell, no matter what cruel, painful, sad and miserable future awaits me, I'll gladly accept it. So, please, just once more, please. Just give me one more chance to save those kids. That, that moment. I emerged in an empty void with an unfamiliar looking girl dressed in a shrine maiden outfit suddenly appearing before me with something resembling horns on her head. I've never seen her before, and yet it feels like I know this girl. あなたは不思議な存在。全く僕たちのことを知らない関係のない人のはずなのにあなたの存在が運命の歯車を変えてしまう。奇跡を必然へと昇華する。例えるならそう。That's right. Back then, 24 years ago, in Hinamizawa, 
I had a dream. And she was there. Hagruma wa, sube te ga onashi muki ni bakari mawatte ite wa kami awanai. Tadashii ugoki o shinai. Naka ni wa ikutsu ka sen hantai no ugoki o suru mono ga nakereba ike nai. Boku tachi o torimaku unmei no Hagruma wa kyoko sugi te, naka naka boku no omoi dori ni wa nagare o kaete kure nakatta. だから僕はちょっと奇跡を集めてリカの幸せを導き出したそうしなければ流れは僕たちの思い通りには動いてくれなかったから<笑>でも僕は気づいたのです実は動いていない歯車がまだあってそれを動かすための歯車が一つ回路から抜け落ちてしまっていたことを。それは、とても小さなものだけれど、それを加えて動かせば、止まっていた歯車が動き出し、今までびくともしなかった大きな歯車の向きが、逆へと変わって動き出す。そんな、ものすごい力を持った、貴重で、不可欠なもう一つの歯車。そしてその動きは一見僕たちの邪魔をするものでもその歯車一つの動きで奇跡は必然となり運命のサイコロは僕たちの手へと移るその歯車があなたですかけらに残ったままどうしても外せなかったよどみを取り除きあなた自身はそのよどみと共に離れてゆくけれどその結晶をより強固なものへと変える存在なのです<笑>やっと分かったわあなたは私にそれになれって言うのね The girl remained silent and didn't respond to Tomei's question but her eyes were saying it Only you can do this 見ないともえ、過去に苦しみ、それでも前に進もうと、あがき続ける強い意志の人よ。僕たちには、あなたが必要。いえ、リカには、あなたが必要なんです。<笑>待っています。あなたのその強い意志の力を、この、ひなみざわに。A fragment of Mio Tsukushi has been changed. Changed? Changed how? Oh, maybe that's what this is right here? Reversing the gears. Okay, I think I was actually meant to read this one. Fragment of Mio Tsukushi B. Now then, do you still wish to dream? Do you still desire something? Do you still want to ask something of someone? This world is not necessarily what you desired. The people living here are not necessarily who you wished for. And there's no guarantee the ending is what you dreamed of. Even so, do you intend to move forward? Even if rewinding the hands on the clock means throwing away the happiness in the present. Do you dare confront that bitter, painful hardship? Thank you. Your strong will is exactly what we were looking for. Let's carve a path to the future together.
and this time, grab hold, grab hold of happiness. So, pray that everyone can reach the happy future they desire, the one that has remained out of reach up until now. Well, looks like that's it. And here I was, almost 20 minutes into it, thinking that it, this was going to end up being a uh, sort of very, very short episode and finale. But hey, looks like uh, looks like that one fragment managed to uh, pleasantly surprise me on that front. So. That's all, that's all of them. That's all the connecting fragments for the console arcs. So with that, we are, we should now be officially done with this arc. And now we can move, we can now move on to the remaining three that I have on my, on my current list. I'm pretty damn, I'm pretty damn interested to see how those, how those last three arcs are going to play out and what kind of ending that they're going to show me and how I feel that ending will likely will likely compare to the ending of the main series proper will it be comparable in quality overall to chapter eight to chapter eight's ending better in some areas worse I'm not sure. But I'm pre I am pre I am pretty sure though that all the, that all these new characters and story threads that are introduced in these console arcs are definitely going to be playing a very pivotal role in how and how this new how this uh, new these new ending arcs are going to be playing out. So for better or worse, it's definitely going to be in a lot of ways pretty different from what we well, from what we've seen in chapter eight. I can I'm pretty certain of at least that much. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. And next time we're going to be we're gonna be moving on we're gonna be moving on to the uh Why am I forgetting the name of the damn arcs? Let me just, you know what, why don't I just pull it up here? It's, it's like right here. Miyotsukushi. Okay, so I did remember the name right first time. Next time, we're going to be moving on to Miyotsukushi Omo Omote. So, if you guys enjoyed this latest episode of the Higurashi and the Cry Console Arcs, and you want to see more content from me, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Take care.